Hey everybody, have you ever stared at the ocean and wondered what it's like to breathe underwater, floating weightlessly surrounded by the ocean's wonders? What about exploring an old shipwreck or diving into a cave? In this Scuba 101 series, we'll dive into the essentials of scuba diving, where I'll take you step by step from everything from gear selection all the way to your first dive. My name is Maros, and I'm a certified technical diver. I started diving in 2011 in the Dominican Republic, and I've logged over 160 dives since. Scuba diving has taken me to 12 different countries, in the Caribbean and in Asia, where I've made tons of memories and some of the best friends in my life. So far, I've dived on reefs, on and inside shipwrecks, and some cenotes in Mexico. In the future, I'd love to do full cave diving and then explore some really deep shipwrecks in the ocean. This Scuba 101 series is designed to introduce you to the world of scuba diving through my eyes and experiences. This series will be for anyone who's a beginner diver or an aspiring diver, I still might have some questions or reservations uh, before really taking the, their first plunge. One of the things we'll cover is all the equipment that you'll need to safely complete a dive. I'll also discuss the importance of choosing the right gear and what considerations you should keep in mind when, when and if you do purchase your own gear. I'll discuss gear such as masks, fins, regulators, and so much more, and also tell you about the gear that I use and what my thoughts are about that. Another thing we'll be discussing are the different diving environments that exist. These will include coral reefs, shipwrecks, caves, and caverns. I'll be going through all the things that you'll need to consider and be aware of when diving in these different environments, what you may or may not see, and any additional skills or training that will be required to safely participate in these dives. As we get deeper into this series, I'll discuss the physiology of diving on the body. Some of the topics I'll discuss will be the pressure on the body at depth, what it's like to breathe compressed air, and what the effects of that air are on the body. As I mentioned before, there are a lot of different environments and scenarios where you might find yourself diving, and each of these different types of dives requires a specific kind of training. In this part of the series, I'll discuss in more detail what unique challenges exist for each type of dive and what rewarding experiences can come from those dives if done safely. Some of the dive types I'll discuss will be night dives where you're diving at night, wreck dives where you're diving on shipwrecks, cavern dives where you're in an enclosed environment but you have access to the sunlight and air, and also uh, drift dives where you let the current take you along the reef and get picked up by a boat. While you're scuba diving, you'll undoubtedly encounter lots of different marine species, freshwater fish, and mammals. So in this part of the series, we'll be discussing best practices for encountering and interacting with all kinds of marine animals, corals, and the environment overall. Normally, you shouldn't touch any animals or corals while you're underwater, but it's especially important to understand what you really can touch, because if you do, you can get very serious burns or stings on your hands, and if you interact with the wrong animals, you can get bitten or worse. As a finale for this course, I'll go through an extensive list of safety tips and best practices for scuba diving. I'll share plenty of essential tips, do's and don'ts for beginners, and then review mistakes that I've made and that I've seen others make while learning how to dive. Hopefully, these tips will help you avoid common pitfalls and have other divers have a great time diving with you. I hope you're as excited as I am to go on this journey with me and you'll come to appreciate and love the underwater world as much as I do. Scuba diving is an extremely rewarding experience and it'll take you to a world that so many people will never get to experience. Please like and subscribe so you don't miss a single episode of this exciting series. See you on the next part of our adventure.